there will be great joy at the National Shrine of St. Kateri Tekawitha and the Orisville Shrine of Our Lady of the Martyrs as Blessed Kateri is elevated to St. Kateri Tekawitha on October 21, 2012. The Lily of the Mohawks will be honored as the first Native American saint. Her father was a Mohawk chief and her mother Algonquin. She lost them both, her health, and most of her eyesight to a smallpox outbreak at the age of four. It also disfigured and pocked her face. St. Kateri grew up remembering her mother's Christianity, and when the missionaries returned when she was a young woman, it renewed her interest in the faith. She was baptized at the age of 22, but that caused her to become outcast among her own people. She fled to Salt St. Louis near Montreal, Canada, where she worked with the poor and the sick. She took a vow of perpetual virginity, but poor health took her at the age of 24. She had a special devotion to Jesus and Mary, and she loved praying the rosary. Many people will not be able to honor St. Kateri by attending her celebration in person. And that is why rosaryparts.com offers this beautiful rosary kit to those who want to participate in this special event honoring our first Native American saint. It includes a sterling silver crucifix and matching St. Kateri Center. They are joined together with the finest olive wood beads that come from Bethlehem, connecting St. Kateri to the birthplace of Jesus. Many special events will be held at the Orisville New York Shrine. And since rosaryparts.com is located less than an hour away in Troy, New York, we wanted to share the beauty of the Shrine of the Lady of the Martyrs with you. Here is a statue of St. Kateri Tekawitha that stands outside the Colosseum building in Orisville. Inside, there is a four-sided wood facade altar. It represents how missionaries touch all four corners of the earth. The first statue we see here is of the great Jesuit missionary and martyr, St. Isaac Jogues. Next, we see one of his companions, St. John Lalande, and the final martyr, René Goupy. They are also memorialized at one of the entrances to the Orisville Shrine with these three crosses. When we look to one side of the main altar, we see this wonderful statue that depicts St. Kateri Takawitha. There is also a small statue to her in the back of the hall that is adorned with native beading, a craft she herself practiced. As we leave the Colosseum, we pass by two guardian angels who inspire us with their strength and beauty. The grounds themselves are full of history, and as you can see, there are a number of different signs that explained what happened at these important sacred sites. There are many other outdoor features that you would enjoy. Here you can walk the Stations of the Cross up the Hill of Prayer. And if one has difficulty walking or the weather is inclement, there are also Stations of the Cross that can be followed from within a car. The shrine also has seven outdoor plaques dedicated to the sorrows of Mary. There is a museum that is dedicated to the history of the martyrs. And as you walk around the grounds, there are beautiful statuary like this one to the Blessed Mother. This modern statue that honors Our Lady of Fatima. And at the base of the statue, you can see that people hang rosaries on the bushes around the base. Here is a replica of Michelangelo's famous Pieta. We hope you will be able to take part in the celebration honoring St. Kateri Tekawitha 
at the Shrine of Our Lady of the Martyrs in Oriesville, New York. If you cannot be present, you may enjoy making this beautiful rosary kit to honor her. Making a rosary can be an act of reverence and prayer. Or you might enjoy wearing this medal devoted to St. Kateri. You'll find them at rosaryparts.com. We have the largest selection of rosary making tools and supplies on the web. And remember, at rosaryparts.com, we've been serving the faithful for over three generations.